Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do cinnamon scrolls in my Kmart pie maker. I've already rolled out some dough here. Yeah? It's just an easy two ingredient dough, Greek yogurt and self-raising flour, that's all it is. So you just uh, uh, roll it flat, um, try to get it in a rectangle shape as much as you can. Mine's not perfect, but it'll do. And then I've just got some melted butter. I'm going to be brushing it with melted butter first off. My um, pie maker is already switched on, preheating. Doesn't have to be, it's just so it goes a bit quicker. Just generously brush that with butter. It's so easy and quick to do this. I've actually had this bit of dough left over from pizzas that I made. So I thought I'd make some cinnamon scrolls with what I had left over. Okay, so once you've got the butter on there, quite generously, then you're just going to make up some cinnamon sugar so I normally have about three teaspoons of cinnamon sugar to about a quarter cup of caster oh, sorry three teaspoons of cinnamon to quarter cup of caster sugar okay mix that in and then you're just going to sprinkle it all, sprinkle it all over this all over the dough all over the butter There might be a better way of doing this, but this is just how I get it on. Let me know how you do it. Might give that a go, because this isn't the prettiest way of doing it. Mm, I think that's about right. Okay, so all you do then is, I'm just going to turn it, roll it up very carefully, don't roll it too tight. When they're done cooking, I'm going to be melting some Betty Crocker vanilla icing just to like drizzle it with a little glaze over the top when it's done. So once you've got that rolled, you're just going to cut it in discs, probably about two to three centimeters, because they are going to rise a bit. Actually, I might make them a bit bigger. Let's go five. About five centimeters, 45. Okay, so once you've done that, you very simply pop them in upright like that so when you close your pie maker it's going to squish them down okay there we go i'm going to give that about six minutes come back to it and see how how they look 
Okay, so that's been about six minutes. I'm just gonna, oh my word, that smells beautiful. So I'm just going to grab them out. They look gorgeous. Okay, so I've realized that I'm fresh out of vanilla Betty Crocker um, icing. So I've just mapped my own little batch here. And as soon as that comes out the pie maker, you can let it cool for a couple of minutes. And then you just drizzle some of your glaze over the top of it. It's still, this one is still pretty um, hot, so it's very runny. Normally I'd wait for it to go a bit more stiff. Okay, so there you have it. Cinnamon scrolls in the Kmart pie maker. Let's cut one open and see what it looks like on the inside. It's still a bit hot. There you go. Beautiful. That looks delicious. Okay, that's my cinnamon scrolls. And I'm going to have a coffee and a cinnamon scroll now. Thank you for watching. Bye.